Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's Excel personal net worth calculator. And this is a simple Microsoft Excel template to help you calculate your net worth. The first thing I want to do is talk about what is net worth and how is it calculated. And net worth is basically your total assets, which are things that you own, less your total liabilities, which are things that you owe which is all your debt. If you take your total assets and subtract your total liabilities, you will get your total net worth. So up top here you can enter your name for the report and also the date of the report. It's important to understand that when you calculate your net worth, it's as of a particular point in time when you calculate it. And for example, the reason that is is because let's say the value of your home that you're calculating is the value for this particular point in time but six months from now or a year from now it could change so this is where you enter the date of the report below that is the total net worth on the left hand side here you have your total assets and below that you have the list of all your assets on the right hand side here you have your total liabilities and the list of all your liabilities. So let's go ahead and enter some sample information. The asset and liability types here can be changed. I just put some information in there for the purposes of this video, but you can enter your own assets and liabilities based on your financial situation. So for checking accounts, let's say that we have five thousand dollars and you can see now that your total assets are five thousand and your total net worth is five thousand let's say that in savings accounts we have ten thousand money market let's say that we have five hundred cash let's say that we have five hundred let's say that we value our home on this particular date that the market value is 250,000 and let's say that the value of our car on this particular date is 15,000 and let's say that the amount that we have in our 401k is 20,000 so if we look up top here our total assets is 301,000 and that's also what our total net worth is. Okay, so let's look at our liabilities. So let's go ahead and start entering those. So for our car loan, we have $10,000 car loan, and that's the balance as of this point in time. In other words, what we still owe on this date. Mortgage loans are $100,000 balances at this point in time. And let's say that we have $50,000 balance in our home equity loans. Let's say that our student loan balances at this point in time are $20,000. And let's say that at this point in time we owe $1,000 in credit card debt. So now if we look at our total liabilities up here, we owe a total of 181,000. So to calculate our net worth, basically we took our total assets and we subtracted our total liabilities and then our that comes out to $120,000 in net worth. A couple things to keep in mind that net worth in this case it's positive but net worth can also be negative. So let's say that our mortgage loan was 300000 So in this case, particular example, we would have negative 80000 in personal net worth. So you can also have a negative net worth if your liabilities over here are greater than your assets. Okay, so let's put that back to 100,000. I like that look a lot better. So another thing to keep in mind is how often do you do your report? 
And the reason why you have to ask that question is because assets and your liabilities, they will change over time. So let's say that we did this report at the beginning of the year. Maybe six months later you do the report again, or maybe you do it every year. That's up to you, but then you can track it, you know, on each of those given dates, how much your net worth was. The other thing to keep in mind is that some of these items are based on market value, which could change, or they're also their estimates. So that makes this number an estimate. If, for example, here we said that the value of our home was 250000 we're not going to really know the exact value of that home until we sell it. And then we'll determine what someone was willing to pay for it. So it's important to understand that this is an estimate because some of these items here are estimates. Same thing for the car. We valued the car at 15000 at this point in time. That's also an estimate. So if I scroll down here, there's a lot of room to add you know, different assets and different liabilities, depending on your financial situation. Scroll back up to the top. So that's an example of this particular worksheet here. Over here, there's another worksheet. This calculates the exact same thing. The only difference is that it's laid out differently. So it's just a matter of preference. But in this particular report, the assets are on top. And if I scroll down below that, you'll have your liabilities below that. Okay, so you have two different choices here in terms of reports. Okay, so that's a basic overview of George's Excel personal net worth calculator.